Well, Amen. sure. <laughs> I was on a stage play of Oklahoma, and I had my share of my fill until I was full. But does that make me a criminal? Does having <laughs> sex with 13-year-old boys on the set of Oklahoma make me a monster? Hey guys, we got merch. Limited quantity drop. A limited quantity of items are being produced for the holidays. Orders will begin shipping the first week of December. All orders placed before December 10th will arrive before Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Check out the link in the description or shop the merchandise below the video before it's too late. You guys have been bitching about this forever, so you better f***ing buy some shit. If you don't buy some stuff, then go f*** yourself. You! Welcome back to Dream Screw. Hunter, I heard you're a dead man walking because oh, okay. all the all the Swifty girls want to kill you. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> all the Swifty girls want to kiss me real hard. To death. Yes. And it's sexy. You better watch out, bro. There is a lot of uh a lot of fingernails scratching and hair pulling coming your way real soon. Yeah. How many Taylor Swift fangirls do you think you could take at once? None. They're crazy. Not a single one. Immediate I heart I, attack. I think immediate, immediate, uh, <laughs> immediate failure. I, I, I just give up. Like, take me. You could at least take two. Come on. No, I don't think so. I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even try. I'd be like, you, you win. And I would. I would no, shake and be, fear. Be they also have been hexing me. I've been I've been getting hexed. Oh yeah, you're cursed by the witchery. Yes. Nice. That so shit's I, like fucking gay, dude. So I'm dealing Hell with yeah, magic dude. now. I uh -huh. I don't know what I hate more, star signs or women thinking they're witches. It's essentially the same, isn't it? Or hey, witches are in the Bible, dude. That's real. Are is there uh, witches in the Bible? Uh huh. Jesus, I guess like, I guess they're I guess very spooky. And they can't it's, a, it's actually kind of fun. It is true that if you're Christian, um, black like Satan magic practiced by evil whores that call themselves witches is real. Well, it's certainly real today. Mm -hmm. So maybe what kind of hex? What kind there. of uh, what kind of hexes are you suffering from, my friend? Well, they all kind of said it was the same hex over and over again. It was like, which I'm, it's like copy pasta. You got, we got a signal boost. Yeah, that's amplifying the power. It's, uh, it's basically like your hair will fall out. It was really weird. It was like, you're, you will be, you, all your hair will be gone in three days and in mere hours you'll be bald, which I, I when I heard that, I was like, so is the big thing that like my pubes will be gone in a matter of, like, I'm going to be bald in a couple hours, but in three days I'm going to be totally just totally clean. It, it just felt like a, a weird, like, ooh. Dude, you gotta, you gotta post hair wash updates. Yeah, you, you should, Adam, you should Adam like play story. into it. Little, just pretend little like close it's up happening. of your scalp. Pretend yeah, it's working. A million percent. Don't you dare worry. I have a pop of me video coming out this week about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a really funny hex to put on you because it's going to be easily disproven in three days. Like there's no foresight there. In terms of like mm -hmm. getting people to believe in their witchcraft, because it's going to be disproven so quickly. Yeah, I mean it's it's retarded. All of it is just so fucking stupid. None of them. Well, really that that pretend witchcraft, but real Satanist witchcraft is not retarded. Do you Something think that there is real it. Satanist witchcraft? Not. I don't think Taylor Swift. I don't think you can be. No, a Taylor no, no. Swift I'm not saying Taylor Swift. I'm just saying in general. You think that there's a, real witchcraft? Out there? Honest to God, Satanist witch. So they're they're doing fake magic. But you know, you're being very facetious, but Hunter's asking, is there a part of you that actually thinks there's like satanic witch magic? No, probably not. No. Oh. <laughs> you so it's, desperately it's not, wanted to say yes. Yeah. Well, I, I thought well, that'd be fun, no, 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 right? That'd no, be here, a fun hear way. Me, hear live. me out, hear me out. So I am I am Christian, but I I uh I think I'm much more the, my my belief structure is much more vague. And kind of a it's easier that way. Limp wristed, if you will. Yeah. So it's 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 hard to believe in the more colorful pieces. But those are legitimate pieces that are part of the canon. So if you're like a real uh a real literalist, you know, that that is like a part of it. It's kind of interesting. Every hmm. every fiber of the vein in my forehead wants me to like go on a Reddit tier 
tirade. <laughs> how, mm-hmm. how can you believe that part, but not this part, but that part, but not this part, but I'm holding it in, kind of. I'm sure yeah. everyone would be interested to hear that. Yeah, I think so. I feel like if I was a big Christian guy, if I was like a big believer and all that, which I'm not saying I'm not, I feel like I just, I'd feel like I want to, I feel like I just, I'd go above and beyond and I'd add some stuff. Well, make your own canon, like uh, the Mormons. Yeah. And my hair will continue growing forever in three days. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, that's my belief. What a crazy belief that your hair is going to keep growing (laughs) at this age. Through the power of Christ, my hair will never stop growing. I'd want to. I'd want to believe that there was like more mythological creatures. Kind of wish that Greek mythology was still believed in, and people still like believe there was like minotaurs and shit. That'd be cool. But we did get the ultimate downgrade when we went into like Abrahamic theology. It's so yeah. fucking lame compared to all the cool shit that came before. Yeah, people believing in like fucking bull creatures, bull men. The 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 tiniest of tiniest of creativity. There's. This is a woman with a fish's lower half. And did you hear about the man with a a bull's upper half? Like, that's it. That's the most creativity they could muster. But you know what? It was still more creative. It's not about creativity, dude. It's about the truth. All that stuff is fanfic. It's not real. That's true. I suppose. uh, It would just be nice to have better fanfic, I guess. Yeah. I do like that it's just the extent of them just literally like just combining things. Yeah, that's what I'm like saying. A, like, like, like a so farmer sh- a farmer's just like <laughs> farmer's like, yeah, did you know that I saw a cow but it, he had the body of a man? What? And you're like, wait, what the fuck? Really? Did you see that? Oh yeah. Oh, oh dude, time. it was in this labyrinth, I swear. What are you doing uh, so in a I was, labyrinth? I was, well, I was pondering around for a little bit, sneaking around with some string so I wouldn't get lost. Well, that's a good idea. Thanks. And I sat there and I uh, I saw him in there. Yeah, it's in the King's Temple. You could go check it, but he'd probably fucking like be pissed if you were like walking around or even brought it up. <laughs> he'd probably like kill you, so. He'd probably kill you, so. I mean, I don't know. Uh, that you was just, just but like a, that was just a very simpleton serial killer tricking retards in the early antiquity <laughs> to go yeah. into his fucking sex dungeon and kill them dressed as a cow man. It is kind of metal to think about it like that. Because I just got done watching all the Saw movies, so that makes you just think of the pig head from that. Mm. So which, I can see that definitely that from? being... Saw no one ever all. remembers the pig head. Yeah. It's not half as iconic as the doll. No, no, no. But it's still, I mean, it's in all of them. It's still, I would say, associated mm. with the series. I saw a fucking sick um, instrument that the Celts, or Celts, I don't know how you pronounce it, used to play. Um, called the car- Carinx, I think. Carinx. But it's this giant, long, fucking, like, I don't know, four-foot four, four foot tube with a big, like, pig's head on the end of it. And when they blow it, it sounds, like, crazy. It sounds like... Pretty cool. <laughs> Li- like, literally, though. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like. You know, in, like, in movies where, I don't know, in antiquity movies, the Romans are, like, walking around, you hear those, like, crazy horn sounds and you think okay it's just a bit of hollywood magic it's like no these horns are fucking sick they sound awesome and they're real they're real they're real they're real what? How, how did that relate to saw i kind of lost the, the pig the pig thing right yeah oh, okay head. it has like a pig's head on the horn yeah That's yeah part of the- you gotta you'd make it you'd, you'd think that it was in like a pig's like a pig squeal then yeah, like that'd be a pretty horrifying war horn, I think. Look at that sick fucking pig head instrument. Oh, okay, that's cool. Carnix. It's mm. fucking tight. I think we should have our characters in our show use them done. <laughs> that'd be really cool. I like how tall they are. Which, which show? Any of them. Mm-hmm. Which mythical show that's never been released? Either of them. Looks like a pain in the ass to use. That's when men were men, idiot. Yeah. I guess it makes sense, though. Maybe, well, maybe the the half logic was above the fray. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like there could sort of be guys fighting around you. 
I think it probably the length of it helped make the crazy sound be my guess. Yeah. I do like the idea that back in the day it was probably some fucking like loser nerd who was like, God, these show are impractical, aren't they? I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? <laughs> what do you mean? Man, just, they're so big. It's like, Oh, no, that's a leader of men. Yeah, yeah that's like, that's, that's the fucking and bad that's the, ideas. That's the fucking gangly emperor who's like barely fights in the <laughs> battlefield too, and he's just like, God, he's so weird. Like, why is he so tall? That's, God, get it away from him. He's so all this shit. Yeah, how, how did he become emperor? From being so smart, and he's cool. born into it. Clever clogs. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, he's a real fucking <laughs> idiot, but we have to follow him. <laughs> I mean, he is literally, anointed pr- by God. Literally, probably every emperor ever. People say that about about him. Well, he he's a retard, but he's our retard. <laughs> but he was chosen by God Himself. So, what are we, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <clears throat> which which saw was the best saw? Hunter? I said saw three. Okay. I stopped at saw two. I haven't seen saw three yet. You might as well stop I at watched- saw three. Really, I mean, you, know, okay. you might as well not even watch any of them. You might as well just watch Seven, because that's just what the movies are, anyways. I've never seen that, but it's supposed to be quite good. Yeah, if you, I like David Fincher a lot, too. That's a David I Fincher like movie. Oh, the movie, the movie Seven? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Kevin oh, Spacey. Oh, no, he, he wasn't just like, watch Saw Seven. All I of thought the pri- that's what priors, he was saying. All the prior Saws are just no, Saw No, no, no. Th- I thought he was saying, yes, watch Saw 7, because that's what they are. They're all the same. It's just yeah. torture porn. And that's the culmination of, of the formula, Saw 7. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm not even questioning that there is a Saw 7. I bet there fucking is. There's 10. No, there's like 10. Oh, my God. Yeah, Saw, Saw 7 has Chester Bennington in it, and I had Saw to watch seven, him die Saw twice. Saw 7 is Saw 3D. <laughs> yes, it's called Saw 3D, which pissed me off. It's supposed to be. It was supposed to be the last Saw movie. It says Saw the final, final chapter, chapter, and then yeah. there was another three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> After a seven year gap, they decided to make three more. What are we gonna do? Not make more saws? Are you fucking crazy? Well, Spiral barely made a profit, which in Spiral was just literally trying to be that one was literally just trying to be seven. Oh yeah. Uh, you were speaking a different language. It's what? spiral like, a, like a saw movie. Yeah, it's saw a nine. Saw you nine. kind of say saw like you've got Down syndrome. Saw? You're like Saul. You could put like an L in it. Saul? Yeah, Saul. Saul's it's probably just my Saul. good American accent, dude. Man, yeah, maybe. Probably just my good American accent. Saul? Saul. You ever watched Saul before? <laughs> you ever saw Saul? Yes, yeah, so I always went to the movie theater, me and the missus saw Saul. <laughs> so you just watched them. Did you feel like the dude in the first one? Did it annoy you how he said his wife's name? <laughs> it kept taking me out of it. What does he say? How does he say it? It's well, it's well, it was, who's it was almost like about which character are you talking about? The guy that's uh, from Princess Diaries. Oh Wesley. yeah, Doctor Lawrence Gordon. Yeah, that one. I forgot. I forgot his he's, wife's. He's name. on the phone with his wife, and he talks like pretty normal, but it's a British guy doing an American accent. But to say his wife, I think his wife's name was like Lisa. Or so he was like Lisa, Lee, like like it was like some South Park shit. It was really really strange. Lisa. Some like, yeah. some like Lisa, very please. like Trey Parker, like Randy Marsh energy. Ex- exactly. Lisa. Yeah, yeah. Shelly. Shelly. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I couldn't remember it. You know what's funny is people keep saying that to me too. They're like, oh yeah, it's the Princess Bride guy. And I'm like, why? Well, I've seen that once, which I I did. I like Princess Bride. I thought it was a, it's a fine movie. But I always remember him as the guy who is cucking Jim Carrey in Liar Liar. Oh, he was in that too? Yeah, he's he's the replacement dad. In Liar oh, Liar. Because I was watching was, Saw and I was like, man, what a f- fall. What a poor career. Felt uh, bad for him. Yeah, I yeah, guess so. It is you pretty know, crazy. Pr- even, I think Princess uh, Diaries came out in the 80s, too. It's been a long, long, and long Even in Princess, even when that came out, was that like a big deal or did it just, just become like a cult hit with I think it became a cult later. hit. I don't think it was super right. big. I don't. I mean, I don't it's know, funny. actually. I, I guess I, I'm speaking... I don't know. I, I know that it's a giant cult movie now. Like, I know people do like, I know like movie theaters will go out of their way and be like, oh, we're doing a screening, you know, of Princess Diaries this weekend, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was him. Wow. Good Funny. film. I do like that movie Liar, a lot. Liar. I remember Liar. I was like, this looks yeah. gay. It always looked like really like for chicks. And then I watched it and I enjoyed it a lot. I liked it, uh, dude. Princess Diaries. 
Cheap Flicks made me happy. Pretty, 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 pretty fucking yeah. awesome, honestly. I'll tell you what I saw that I did not like was The Devil Wears Prada. It's not, I think it's overhyped. I think it's, it's a, a decent movie. Boring fucking film. The it's problem decent. is, is I decent. thought it was, uh, I thought it was, I can't remember, the one with uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Hurley, and it wasn't that one. I'm trying to, like, is, is the Elizabeth like Hurley bit, movie like the bit, same bedazzled name? Bedazzled or Bewitched or whatever. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've even seen that one either. The one with Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Bedazzled. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's the wrong name. Brendan Fraser, she's Elizabeth Hurley. Film. Bedazzled. Okay, so she's... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Bedazzled. Right. Yeah, you have. Okay. Don't lie to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't know why I would lie about that, but... You're not lying. You're just misremembering. But that, let me Google it. It's Bedazzled. fucking uh, Elizabeth Hurley's the devil, and Brendan Fraser's asking her for wishes. I do like Elizabeth Hurley. She's sexy as fuck, or at least used to be. I know. She's like the quintessential yeah, Tom, just like, English these, rose. These thirst movies. I always loved her. She was fucking hot as shit in uh, the first Austin Powers movie. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh so this is a remake really? from a, from the movie in the 60s. Whatever. They didn't have Elizabeth Hurley in the 60s, did they? It's true. I think I've seen... I've probably seen this maybe on television once, but it's definitely not a movie that I've like ever well, you owned need to on go DVD back. or anything. Is it's worth it? Yes. All right. I'll watch it. Good. I oh, did damn. my homework and fucking... watched from dusk till dawn. You huh? watched it? I did. Did you love How'd it? Did you like it? I thought it was bad. Bad movie. <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> you guys are stupid. What do you mean? <laughs> what about the twist? <laughs> Well, well, I guess for Who starters, I knew the twist was coming because I How? read the synopsis. I said, I said, don't look at anything. I fucking hate when I people read the do that. I hate when people read we the shit before about they about watch it. it. They're just like, oh, it's disappointing. It's like, well, no fucking well, shit, dude. Because you like, can see what it is coming. This, what is this movie about? But here's the thing: even if, even if I went in blind, I think I still would have fucking hated it because tonally, the execution is so bad. It's it's literally half the movie is a Tarantino movie, right? And I guess yeah, he wrote he it, it yeah. and is in it, and it's like pretty competently made, like the first solid hour, and then it just like just nosedives on every level. It's not like the same realistic characters are confronted by vampires. It's like just the whole thing goes full dog shit. Well, he um, well, a guy know, had a fucking been, been magnum cock pistol. So, what? yeah, I like I like how schlocky it gets. I think it's like a fun schlocky time. Also, Salma Hayek, just, I mean, like, my God. Was Lexi staring da daggers into you while she was on screen? <laughs> no, I watched it work. Look course, away. Was wise. I watched it at work just hard the whole time. This movie sucks. Yeah. Just pre-cum all <laughs> your pants. Pre-cum pre fucking up all those Hanes pairs of underwears you had to put on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this movie's awful. This movie fucking sucks. Oh, my God. Just, like, walk around. <laughs> Bam. Well, I'm sorry yeah. you don't have taste, bro. That sucks. No, like, they fucking... And then George Clooney gives, like, the pep talk about how you're a priest, you can make us weapons, right? Sick. And it's this whole big beat, and he's like, I Sick. am a bad uh, priest. And then... Uh, what was that? And then immediately... I don't know what that is. You have to clarify Okay, that. so the, the whole thing is the dad, the dad, like, doesn't believe in God, right, anymore. He used to be a priest. Okay. And then it's going to be this big beneficial thing because now they're fighting vampires. Based. Right. So there's this whole long belabored beat about how they have to make him believe again. And he's like, okay, I believe. Just and then died. they don't do anything about it. They don't like immediately set to work making holy water. He just like, they just stand there. And then we listen to the other guy talk about how he likes killing Viet Cong for like Sick. three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I can't believe at all. Well, while the, the, while the other that. guy... <laughs> While the other guy is like cartoonishly trying to hide that he's turning into a vampire, you are selling yeah, the just, fuck out of this movie right now. I don't know what to it, tell you. But I was gonna I, say, it, I feel like it, people are gonna be like was, cartoonishly selling the fact that hiding the fact that he's a vampire. I feel like people are gonna be running wild in their imagination. It was very, you know what? I'm gonna bring you into a next artistically pitch meeting triggering, I do, totally inconsistent, <laughs> and frustrating. You just have to make sure Don really hates your project. Yeah, he's like, oh, it's a terrible thing. It. So it's about like girls who like their tops are off the whole time. 
and they like fuck and they come and it's like weird. I don't know. I sold. <laughs> you are hired. Really? I do like that uh, Quinn Tarantino wrote it, and he also gets to like be a rapist. That's what I'm yeah. talking about, dude. Living the foot. dream. Tons of if feet that, stuff. If oh, you're yeah. a foot mm-hmm. man and you get to suck on those feet at that time, why the fuck would you place? not, dude? If your if, if your yeah. fetish is a foot thing, and you, like I mean, like just put the fucking put every person that's ever been in a movie, make sure they put those fucking little piggies in your face, dude. Every time. I wonder if that's gonna be his final movie it's just him sucking it, on feet for if his hours. final movie was him sucking on feet i i would round round of applause i'd say bravo that's how you go out with a bang that's dude. how you, you fucking go out with a bang exactly three hours three hours what, what would you call that would you just well, call you that do an feet or you call foot? style thing where call it's it a dogs. serious movie and then suddenly you have a 45 minute scene of foot sucking you know while the rest of the plot is unedited on just him like breathing heavy and shit too like the 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 mic is way too hot on him he's like uh-uh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If I had the power and money and influence of a Hollywood director of the caliber of Tarantino, I would abuse that power thoroughly. That's all I'm saying. Why would you not, dude? Especially Selma Hike then. I know. I I do disgusting things with those feet, man. We would we would be going back to the Starlet era in a flash. Starlet era? Yeah, like in the nineteen twenties when they would like I don't know, lock 30 women in a room <laughs> and like mentally torture them with sexual escapades. <laughs> just, genera- just generally fucking destroy the lives you know of crazy too, young like, women. You know what's crazy too is the fucking films are always called like Dr. Bean and the fucking like, <laughs> I don't know, and the Ravagers of the Amazon. It's like, you want to be in this picture, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, take out those piggy wigglies. <laughs> Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> neither did the, you know, neither did the tribes that were filming. But we, you <laughs> know, we got them too. Consenting to this production, they literally yeah, who, who the don't Amazon. even know what the fuck a camera is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they think we're stealing their souls every time we point it at them, so they <laughs> run away. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Get that one. He's crying. Cry harder. <laughs> money. That's money. Anger. 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 Yelling at him. Garumba. 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 Just sc- fucking yelling and screaming in it at him. <laughs> Making up words and shit. Garumba. Garumba. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be in my trailer fucking the star. You guys, you guys keep the cameras warm. Yeah, where's our main actress, Elizabeth Shirley? I'm over here. Come here! Come here, sweet shits! Get in the trailer! <laughs> he just cries. Cries and plays Jenga the whole time. There's like no assault or even. He's just like, I fucking hate my life. No one's gonna believe you. No one's gonna believe that you beat me at Jenga. <laughs> for, for 85 years. Yeah, but by then, I'll be dead. So I, I don't even fucking care. There you go, dude. That's that's me and Salma Hayek. <laughs> <laughs> except, this is, except this is 30 years ago and not 80 years ago. Exactly. And you're, and you're still very much alive. And then when they come uh, out, you're like, oh, 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 well, okay. It was well, a different time. Okay, well, I mean, if we're splitting hairs, then yeah, I mean, it looks bad now, but playing Jenga on set was acceptable back then. First, okay? CK, and now me. Who's next in this crusade? That'd be such a funny tweet if you ever got caught doing something like that. <laughs> First, Lucy K, now now me. Who's next in this crusade? <laughs> People would be like, oh my fucking god, this guy is delusional as shit. <laughs> First, Louis C.K., now me. Okay, ladies, uh, watch out, fellas. Or watch out, local comedians. The ladies are coming for us. No one thought Kevin Spacey was innocent either. No. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no one did. I thought, because the charges, he, yeah. I thought the charges just got like thrown out or dropped or something, didn't they? I don't think so. I think that he like full on had sex with like fifteen, like a, like a bunch of fifteen year old theater performers. Oh, boo hoo! As if they weren't right, asking for it. I thought it was dozens. <laughs> I love Double that as a follow up. Oh my god! I thought it was 
hundreds of years. <laughs> yeah. And then Tom's oh, just like, that, boo, that's, who they're so asking for it. That's, yeah, I hope he did get off. Fuck. Good actor. He's a damn good actor, dude. And uh, I, my my life has not been He's K-Pax. House of Cards fucking left the streaming services. He's K-Pax, guys. We just, so I guess we're just going to lock up K-Pax. I don't know who that is. Yeah, okay. Like, you don't know Kevin Spacey's role in K-Pax. All right, sure. I love this. New York Post. Kevin Spacey bashes cancel culture in first performance since exoneration. I'm sick of this false world, says actor. Yeah, he went in the loony bin. He also kept doing all these videos in his character as Frank Underwood. Oh, was that like, was my favorite. We spoke about that on Cream Crew. Let me okay. be Frank. Yeah, so, so yeah, so did Frank. he not make a This a country one in July seems to when be changing on me. People have always tried <laughs> to put politicians away and accuse them of diddling little boys. Well, that's what's happening well, to me. Well, sure. <laughs> I was on a stage play of Oklahoma, and I had my share of my fill until I was full. But <laughs> does that make me a criminal? Does having <laughs> sex with 13-year-old boys on the set of Oklahoma make me a monster? Well, it's, everyone's like, yes. He's like, okay, well, let me let me finish my script now. I, let me finish my I script. I wrote it myself. I wrote it myself. This is something from my character and my show. I have a southern drawl. It's like, why aren't you just talking to us like a normal person? I'm going to bash you in the fucking face. Bro, he, he, got, uh, he got exonerated, apparently. I mean, who knows? The <laughs> thing is about Kevin Spacey counts. is it's so believable. It's so believable <laughs> that he did it. So, I don't know. I like this, too. This yeah. is from CNN. Kevin Spacey testifies in his own defense, says his dad was neo-Nazi. <laughs> My dad <laughs> neo-Nazi. What else was I supposed to do, not what little boys? I, so I guess I'm just not supposed to have sex with 13-year-old boys on the set of Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm going to really drive in the Oklahoma thing, <laughs> even though I do not think that's what he was uh, acting in. My father is a Nazi, would never attend my plays, and I think it gave me a complex. And so I had to get out my ways on the stages of Oklahoma. Of Oklahoma. Yeah. Kevin Spacey, man. What a legend. What an Aussie legend. Aussie. What an Aussie legend, for real. You can't offload him like that, bro. Why, dude? He's okay. your cross to bear. You got to carry him up the hill and get crucified to him. Because <laughs> oh, he's American. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, I'll dump it on the Aussies. I've anyway. got fucking Savile, bro. You can have Spacey. All right. I was right. We, were, we, we were already uh we were already carrying Epstein and stuff. <laughs> Touché. That's that's gotta be an interesting hell round table. Jeffrey Epstein and Jimmy <laughs> Savile. Jimmy Savile in hell would just be the most unbearable person of all time. I made the BBC what it was. I don't know what he sounds like. Hold on, I've got to listen to him. I mean pretty pretty much. That's well, you're xenophobic, so you can't tell the intricacies. That's that's absolutely true. I just want to hear him talk, damn it. He talks uh, ve ve very fast, and he uh, re repeats his words quite a bit, actually. And he talks kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> Top 10 most chilling Jimmy Savile TV appearances. It starts with a clip of him speaking, saying something creepy, and then it goes into, Welcome to Watch Mojo UK. Where we're counting down the top ten. Yeah, isn't that always so <laughs> fucked up when they do it? <laughs> top ten times Jimmy Savile finger fucked a twelve year old girl on national television. <laughs> Number one, Bridgems. Hey, yeah. Let me fucking get my mitt in there. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> it's still, it's still though. Like you're left. It's not enough. It feels very surface level. You're like, well, can you go into it a bit more? Well, yeah, well, what's, what's the on? context with it? They're like number four. London Bridge is falling down. Well, I'm going to put my fucking big meaty paw on your little minge, ain't me? <laughs> Number th th three. <laughs> like, <okay. laughs> Thank you for watching. Watch Mojo yeah. UK. If you like the if you like the videos, hit subscribe. It's like, why would I subscribe to a cha <laughs> to this fucking channel? With this content, dude. Are you hard? Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Down below. Thanks for watching. So funny. It's so annoying. I'm scrubbing through this video. I can never hear the guy speak. There's always just some <laughs> fucking twat. Like, and he responded to. I don't know why I'm doing American accent. He's English, but and he's responded to a letter. Just like, shut up. Let me listen to the man. Remember that documentary I watched? He always said some shit like, uh, 
He's like, I'm staying out of trouble, but my, uh, or he's like, he, he kept saying like my court hearing is next Thursday. He kept saying that all like a bunch in his later years or in his, in his career. And remember in his later years, he was just like openly pedophilic all the time. I like little girls. And people are like, ah, oh, yeah, that's like, odd, Jim. Yeah, d- 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 you know, like, ah, oh, Jim, he loves, you know, 25 year olds. He's like, no, girls just out of fresh out of school. Like, no, <laughs> ooh, girls just fresh out of school. 25 is dry and disgusting. I think me wants to have sexual relations with them. Somebody what a comedian. <laughs> yeah. Top Still of the <laughs> <laughs> What a comedian. Wow. He's kind of got a he's kind of got a northern accent. I'm Jim and I'll fix it. Oh, you're dry as the Sahara Desert, my dear. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Is that a, is that is that what a northern accent sounds like? Yes, officially. <laughs> Hello, I'm from Tup North and I I don't have any money. He, he he talks really fast and he like kind of repeats uh words and shit or like stumbles over himself. Did did you come? Did did you come yet? Did did you come? Did you come? <laughs> Did you come yet? He's just heavily. It's just like an autistic guy. Did, did Have you, you come? Did you come? Did, did you, I did make you come? come? Did I make you come? Did you come? I think no, you came. No, Mr. Savile, I don't think my reproductive <laughs> organs are capable of that yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to pay you another visit then. <laughs> yep. Yeah, see puts you it, in a jiffy. Puts in his like cigar in his mouth and does like a. I thought you were going to say puts puts another coin in the kid's arsehole. <laughs> Well, well, I guess, guess, we, what? I guess we're going to have to wind back up for another round, then, ain't we? Yeah, I suppose we lost. God. <laughs> <I'm> fucking Lord. <laughs> I don't know about the coin in the asshole, man. No, no, I don't really know where that came from. It's like, a, it's like one of those gumball machines that you twist and the. Well, I understand the out. context of like a oh, fucking okay, gumball just machine, but no, I, I, I just don't I, know where I thought you fuck. meant like one of the little, like. Rocket ships or horses. Yeah, yeah, ride, anything, guess, anything like, like that. He just has to put in another coin to yeah. get another mm, guy. It's really a, a sure. really a full picture he painted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm going for another ride, ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> On your hop, Mr. Savile. Do my duty <laughs> to the crown. He <laughs> 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 says fuck. So gross. There is nothing that the fucking British government likes more than to be embroiled in pedophile scandals. It is literally our cultural legacy. <laughs> I I know the uh what what fucking uh what what son what was uh royal son had the uh Andrew. what the fuck is it Andrew? Oh, I love that one. I wonder oh, if they're just like, favorite. well, how, how did the how did the photo get there, Andrew? And he's just like, well, I don't even know what, well, what you how, mean. How would I begin to unravel <laughs> and fathom that? I have no idea. <laughs> you, know, you think I'm some sort of magic man who can I think I'm some kind of magic man or some kind of <laughs> conjurer of uh, <laughs> cheap tricks? <laughs> yeah, I quote, I quote, <laughs> <get> <laughs> you say you must think I'm some kind of. <laughs> <laughs> cheap tricks or something. I've never seen that woman so before in my life. The plane logs indicate you went three times to Epstein's uh, Island in June. I don't, I don't oh, know. A wizard is that. never late. He arrives <laughs> precisely when he means to. If the logs say that, then I probably was on the plane. So, the so you did go to the <laughs> island. In your pocket. What's in, well, well, it what's in your pocket? It's in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, Gandalf. What? What are these? What are these flight logs for? <laughs> what's the? What's his horse's name again? Uh, Shadow Fox. Shadow Fox. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we must blast to a private island, Shadow Fax. Well, there will be wonders <laughs> beyond your comprehension. I believe smogs in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, not but maybe a St. David's Island, probably. Right, so we just want to go there. I have to pay a little visit to Gislaine Maxwell and make sure she doesn't say a word, eh, Shadow She, Fax, lives, she lives amongst the elves so he can get a boat <laughs> to go to the island. <laughs> I was wondering if I could partake in one of your fine crafty boats, if I probably could. He's like, speak, friend, and enter. Right what you would- are. <laughs> oh. Ow. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, golly. No. <laughs> Much older than everything else I've been before. 
<laughs> that would be just fucking horrifying. You're giving Gandalf the Grey a fucking a fucking like massage on Dave on Jeffrey Epstein's island, and the whole time his eyes are just closed. He's like his eyes are doing that thing when he's sleeping but holding the palantir. <laughs> That's right, all the cupboards in the massage room keep flying open because he's opening them with his stupid enchantment word. Who do you think's a better wizard? Dumbledore or Gandalf? Come on, dude. Well, I thought that I would just pose the question. 17 um, points for you. <laughs> well, no, it's let's, let's stay artistic, boys. On what metric? Well, wizard? the metric of, of course, I guess children. magic, right? I mean, I don't know. Well, I mean, what determines I mean, a wizard? I mean, really? like, literally, I think literally Dumbledore is more powerful. Oh, than you wouldn't Gandalf. say that, you fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm not being a pussy. I'm just, I, th- I mean, I, I'm not. There's no value Dude, assignment. Your girlfriend being more can't powerful. hear you right now, bro. Okay, you're with the boys. You can say what you really think. Okay, Tom. How does how does Gandalf, who I prefer, beat <laughs> Dumbledore in a fight? Gandalf has his staff that can turn into a flashlight sometimes. I have a sword, you little pussy. I'm going to stab you. Okay, Expelliarmus. No more sword. You fucking dork. Yeah, it's gay. It's definitely gay, but it's, you know. I happen to be very powerful against the gays, for I am Gandalf. (laughs) (laughs) Now what? I bet you tuck your cock between your legs like a girl. (laughs) No, no I don't. Oh, I bet you do, you little sissy boy. Stop it. (laughs) Is this, Ga- is, is, is this Gandalf's talking to Dumbledore? Yes. Yeah, yeah, what are you so going to do? Angle Take I didn't points anticipate. away from me. Tom, <laughs> Tom might be right. He might. He might feel the shame. <laughs> am I? Am I swinging your opinion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dumbledore would suddenly become a bully. <laughs> or excuse me, Gandalf, and defeat his alternate Ian McKellen version. If, That's kind of uh, cool. Dumbledore is like Dumbledore is Ian McKellen's realized gay, gayness, and uh, Gandalf he's defi- is like he's his defeating it. He's conversion therapying himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As you a wizard, like so little <laughs> boys, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I am you, and you are me. Not anymore. Anymore. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, Rook! You can't say that! That's a forbidden word! We don't say that word in the wizarding no, world! It's a, it's a forbidden word, please. Don't what? do that! They who shall not be named! Well, you're right now you're being the original Dumbledore, and Gandalf could be- definitely beat him. It's okay, well, a, that's you know, because I stopped watching on after the door. first episode because I aged out of it. <laughs> So I don't right. know any of the other Gandalf. I mean, what what is it again? Dumbledore? I don't know any of that. You only watched the first Harry Potter? Yes. Wow. All right. Really? You haven't seen all the other ones? Well, yes. Tom's cooler than all of us, so that tracks. When I was 12, I saw the first one. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to go be an elf. So I don't know about the rest of you. I don't think I ever played Harry Potter, but I did. But I did watch them. It kind of became because they came out like what every two years or something like that. It felt like kind yes, of an event. I, I did, in fact, see all of the Harry Potters. Actually, not all oh, of them, okay. but the first four at least. Right. I was I doing the- a meme. It was a silly meme. I see. If anyone wants to uh, like step into the role of Dumbledore or Gandalf, I am down to keep playing. <laughs> I like the idea of Gandalf uh, getting uh, double bullied by Sauron or Sauron and Gandalf. So oh, d- yeah. D- Dumbledore and Dumbledore being double bullied by. Yeah. Or Gandalf I probably said that Sauron. wrong. But yeah. Right. You're the least mm-hmm. gay of all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I could be they, just as gay as you two if I wanted. Because they, because they also all. They also all look. Like I mean, identical. Even like Dumbledore looks a lot like the other wizards too, which is just you know obviously the stereotypical wizard look. But it'd be What's fun if just actor? like you wish that you were so gay. What's the same actor? 
This is, Dumbledore is Gandalf. It's the same actor. It's no, that's not true. No, it's not. Isn't it? You're so no, not at, not, not, not at all. <laughs> what the fuck? Who plays Dumbledore? Uh, fuck. Ian McKellen plays uh, Gandalf. He doesn't play Dumbledore. <clears throat> Second, you're about to blow my mind. Yeah, we're wrong. We're definitely. This is definitely worth looking up. <laughs> yeah, dude, I thought that was Ian McKellen this whole time, and I thought it was really impressive that he could be at such a different looking. <laughs> He's wizard. just what a craftsman. <laughs> this is yeah, honestly for real. unbelievable. Like I, I don't even know what I'm really okay. Is this worse than when you thought when you watched the new Suicide Squad that both of the lead characters were John Cena? <laughs> or is it better? No, I, th- no, I think that's worse. I yeah. definitely have some kind of like wiring problem. Uh, yeah. I think it's just your sight. Yeah. Do you wear do you wear glasses, Don? No, it's not my fucking sight. <laughs> Why does it know? In it, get him, Don. <laughs> everything's blurry. <laughs> 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 I, thought, I thought you wore glasses or no, contacts well, or something. Yeah, I wear well, contacts. That's why you've been calling me Hunter. They, they kind of the the might be kind of blurry. For you. Excuse no. me. Dude. I like the idea that you you think Hunter's <laughs> still here and I left because you can't see <laughs> with your blurry vision who's who. Stop doing impressions of a man. He's gone. <laughs> 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 you fucking left, dude. It's just me and you now, Hunter. <laughs> uh, Let's see. It's not Ian nothing McKellen will be, almost will be played the Dumbledore, burgers. but he was insulted. So maybe someone called him gay. Huh? Let's see. Stanley couldn't take. <laughs> it's like listening to the fucking ramblings of a madman. I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. You're saying some crazy shit. <laughs> <laughs> to, I, for for, for 20 guy. years I thought that was fucking Gandalf <laughs> As Dumbledore <laughs> Fuck, I, I sat there and all I heard was like I thought he maybe was Getting beat by a gay man Or gay or <laughs> Like what? Hello? <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are we talking to each other? <laughs> You're gonna be a great grandpa dude <laughs> oh yeah, your your grandkids are gonna be horrified of you. <laughs> Fuck! I don't want to stay at Grandpa's house. Come here, little girl. He said to your grandson the entire time. <laughs> he hates you. He's like he thinks I'm gay. Oh fuck! You have the prettiest little smile. Rebecca, come give grandpa a kiss. <coughs> uh, it's funny. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you have me tearing up a bit. <laughs> the fucking mump. The mumble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, pre- the original... <laughs> the original... Sor- yeah, yeah, the original Sorcerer's Stone uh, actor... That was Ian McCallum. No, he, that wasn't Ian McKellen. Thought, that was no, just a guy. So who I know it stuff. wasn't Three Ian McKellen. <laughs> no, 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 no. Fuck. But see, th- see, well, this is what happened. I probably read like kids post or something in fucking first grade or whatever it was, and there was a thing about the actors playing Dumbledore, and I guess that uh, Harris insulted Ian McKellen, so he turned down the role of Dumbledore. But that encoded in my brain is, oh, Dumbledore's fucking Ian McKellen too. Oh, I see. That's cool. Wasn't the thing that wasn't and the whole thing I just that carried like carried that without without realizing in watching those movies for twenty years, right? I think I've heard that that story too, and it makes me think. I'm pretty sure that the Harris guy made fun of him for being gay or something. I'm pretty sure that was the <laughs> insult, literally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, <laughs> what the original said. Dumbledore made fun which, of which him? Which would have been? No, I think, I think, I think the uh, director, the director did. The director. That's less yeah, funny. I think he said something like, I think he said something like, honestly, he came in for the role audition and he was like, we were looking for a wizard, not a fairy. <laughs> like that. And it was supposed to be a joke. And I think that actually pissed him the fuck off. Really <laughs> understandably. Yeah, understandably. <laughs> so I think he was like, okay, well, go fuck yourself. Yeah. So is the limp wrist like part that, of the character um, or? 
I think that was an outrage about him being cast as Gandalf too at the time. That, that was like right. maybe maybe that's what it was. Then I maybe I'm getting it mixed they, up. The, the people were saying it's Gandalf the gray, not Gandalf the gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's Gandalf pretty epic. solid. Pretty cool. <laughs> still, even if Gandalf was called Gandalf the gay, still would have been a badass role. Like I don't think it would have changed my love for him. <clears throat> love him. Love Gandalf. It also makes his transformation much the, uh, more, more, much more, uh, and you know, make it. It, it, it would make much more me sense. That much more impressed that he could pretend to find uh, Galadriel attractive. <laughs> <laughs> You're <laughs> so hot. <laughs> you are very pretty. I like your. Um, I, I like, like how you the, look like a leather bag. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you look like a melted bleach or a, melt, a melted Clorox bottle. <laughs> it's like, what? I, I, I don't know. I'm trying. I'm digging very hard. I've, 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 I've never really done this before. This I've is my never first really role as a straight wizard. The straight wizard before you see a much more gay than you wrote. Usually I a, play a gay wizard like Go on, uh, pop your pussy for me. <laughs> Bend it over. Yes, show me, me the lips. I hear that is quite the <laughs> delicacy. I heard that you look like your pussy lips look like Homer Simpson's mouth. I would love to see it. I heard they look like a ham sandwich, but the good ham from the butcher section. Yeah, I hear your pussy is an Audi, not an any. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> That would be, that would honestly be such an insult. I feel like to say to a woman, yeah, your pussy's an Audi, not an any. <laughs> it's like looking at the botanical gardens every time you, you show me it's, there. It's right. quite exquisite and beautiful. You don't My have God. to be a straight wizard to appreciate Which, that. As an actor, I look at it and I, I, all I see is Stanley Kubrick's The Shining's Maze, like a big... Hedge bush maze. Looking at those lips, it's, I feel like I could get lost in a labyrinth. Oh, what's that? Did you hear what sounds like a bull? Man? A man bull? <laughs> yeah. Did you hear possibly what, what could be a mixture between a bull and a man? Quite <laughs> <laughs> Every, <laughs> that, that, that that's, that's a fun thing. That's a thing, fun thing about the troll sound is that it is. It embodies every mythological creature ever. Like a, a unicorn would be. And it griffin. And the dragon would be much more scary and smog if that's what he sounded like. <laughs> Blowing up that port town. The elves from <laughs> Harry Potter. Herbie. <laughs> Who was that? The, the elves from the elves from Harry Potter. Oh. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> nice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are back in town. Better, better. Boys are back in town. Better. I started watching the appendices finally. The Lord of the Rings appendices. Did, did I saw this video on uh, Twitter speaking of behind the scenes stuff, and it was this guy. It was this. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was an audio grip talking about it was like a it's like the 40th anniversary of robocop and it's a guy talking about <laughs> yeah you know I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah he's sitting there and he's he would go up and like uh give peter wells his uh his stuff and he had like a big stack of robocop. oreo cookies yeah and uh yeah he'd be like Ro peter wells would be like robocop what's an oreo and he's like, no. <laughs> just not Robo, gonna... right? Robo wants an Oreo. Oh, yeah. Robo wants an Oreo. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not going to give you that, Peter. You, I can't give you it. He's like, Robo wants an Oreo. And he like has this tantrum. And he like leans over this edge. It's like the part in the Robocop one where he's like up on this edge of like a second story or something. And there's a big explosion. It's that scene. And he's like, well, they're waiting for the explosion stuff. And he like grabs the hand around. He's like, Robo wants an Oreo. Robo wants an Oreo. <laughs> And at this part of the interview, it cuts to Peter Wells, and he's like, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And then, like, four other cast members are like, yeah, I mean, we just basically had, like, he had, like, a new person that came in that was basically, like, his Oreo feeder. He would, like, give him the robo feeder or whatever, and he would, like, give him Oreos. And then the, like, producer who gave him the Oreos would have to pick all of the Oreo shit out of his teeth. <laughs> and then he would record it. It was really funny. 
<laughs> if you guys can ever look that up, I would recommend looking up. It's really fucking funny. Any of the viewers. It's in the, uh, I think Elliot put it in the to- talking points. Oh, he did? Not to reveal the magic behind the... Oh my god, I just scrolled up and I saw Salma Hayek again. Oh. Oh my god. <clears throat> when do you guys start watching your... Because I know, Tom, you already said you were watching a Christmas movie. When do you when when you guys kick it into full gear? Because I think right before I usually say the week before Thanksgiving, I really start getting into the mood. I I finish off my regular holiday season. I watch planes, trains, and automobiles for Thanksgiving, and then it's nothing but Christmas flicks. My my house is already decorated. Well, I figured that, but I'm so. You, so are you saying that you've already started? Yes, it's in it's in the swing. So when did it start? When I watched uh, that film, so I don't know, like a week So ago. last week, basically. Or basically, yeah. you just beginning of November, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. What about you, Don? As God intended. I don't know. I've never, I've never thought about it constructively like that. Intuitively, I'd say after Thanksgiving. I was going to say, like, that would, yeah. That's the, that's the problem for Americans is they have to have Thanksgiving. After Halloween for us, there's nothing to look forward to. It's like Christmas. Weekend. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, I think I think the big tradition, I, I still think there's American, there's, this is a big debate. And Don, you're going to have to weigh in on this because this fucking, this fucking overseas rat is sitting here with us, which is, do you, do you have a Christmas tree before Thanksgiving or do you wait till after Thanksgiving? Uh, I think, I think growing up in the past, we would get a tree sometimes, but it wouldn't be, it would just have like lights, but not really be decorated until after Thanksgiving. Sure. I'm not saying any presents The whole Thanksgiving thing is kind of like the fall, fall vibe, you know? And I like that. Yeah, pumpkins and... I like to live in that for a minute. Sure. Without like Halloween shit. Halloween's great too, obviously, but yeah, just like, I don't know, like... We got um, a bunch of pumpkins from Heb before they throw them away for free, and they just look nice. We're you know? I'm a big for a couple months. I'm a big, I'm a big person that likes to say, "Sat the Saturday after Thanksgiving, that's when you put up your tree." Yeah, that's reasonable. No one, no one would bat an eye at that. Our tree doesn't leave mm-hmm. until like February. Yeah, I mean the, yeah. the cleanup time is yeah, always. I mean, it's just one of those things where it just you, you almost, it's almost it's like it's not even there after a while. No, mm-hmm. I'm just too sad to see it go. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just have your house be Christmas themed all year then? Well, because it's always countdown. Break. Well, it's always yeah. countdown to Christmas, you know. No, I exactly, but you have to start a countdown. You have to you have to stop it. You know. Well, yeah, but the, the stopping of it is just Christmas Day, and then you get to basically, I mean, December 26th, there's 359 days left until Christmas. No, 100%, but absence makes the heart grow fonder, as they say. So you kind of sure. do need to shuffle it. Makes away you appreciate eventually. it. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think the second most annoying Christmas song is after, uh, obviously, the meme one, Mariah Carey? Who cares? You did, 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 did. I don't love her. Yeah, I don't really like that one. I'll tell you which one I love. I love Wham's Last Christmas. I gave you my hunt. I fucking love Wham. For the very next day you gave it away. You I mean uh Feliz Navidad, easy. Feliz Navidad is pretty annoying. This is this is most hated. We're yes. talking most hated, right? This is <laughs> well, it's whoa, not whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on a second. You guys realize this Hold is on. most hated, right? <laughs> I uh, <laughs> big, big Felice head, are you? <laughs> yeah. There's like tons of vinyls and stuff in his office. <laughs> I think Slow you, you I, I don't mind that song, but I, I, I it grows in hatred with me whenever it gets I into know. the chorus part when it's like, no, yeah, I, like it. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I fucking mm-hmm. hate when he like he ramps up right there. I don't like it. I had not heard that song until I came here and I don't do not like it. I'm trying to think I hate of what's, Jingle what's Bell Rock too. Yeah, I would oh, say I Jingle like Bell that. Rock. I, like I think Jingle Bell, Bell Rock is probably my favorite, my least favorite. I tell you what my favorite mm-hmm. is, is Malakaliki Maka. I love that one. Well, mm-hmm. is nice, yeah. a thing it in- to it say. inherently doesn't sound Christmassy. Malakaliki Maka. No, no, he- say yeah, Merry does, Christmas dude. to you. It sounds like it sounds like all the white people that invaded uh, 
Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. All their trees. How do you say awesome. Christmas in your language? <laughs> Malakaliki maka. Malakaliki maka. It's got like the most vague Hawaiian vibe, but also all the like Christmas snowy shit. It's very funny. I like it a lot. Saying Malakaliki maka is just fun, dude. Malak Especially the way he's a giant the spear tipped flag into the hearts of the natives of Hawaii. That's the uh, yeah, that's amazing. I like the way that uh, the way he sings it too. Just the Malakalikimaka is a thing to say. It's yeah. very it's very dorky. It's like a you know clearly like like a um, like a Frank Sinatra kind of guy in like yeah a suit, like cocktail you know? lounge type shit. <laughs> I will tell you, I uh, I like hearing uh, Run Run Rudolph once, and then I can't listen to it anymore. But I like the Chuck Berry yeah. Run Run Rudolph. I'll listen to it once, and then after that, I can't. I like Don's Christmas album the most. That's right. What are, what are the views even on it? What are the listens at even on that? I think it got, I think it's off. I think it got taken off of Spotify. I think we stopped paying oh, the bill. Why? I think we stopped paying the bill. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Sorry, your Christmas is going to be a little less special this year, folks. <laughs> Green Crunch, that's... I'll keep the lights on. That's too bad. We didn't get enough record on. sales. It's either the Spotify bill or the power bill. I think you know For which real, one right? we chose. <laughs> I, I I like um Nat King's Nat King Cole's uh what is it? The one about the Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yeah, Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yeah. That's a good one. I also like the, the the super rapey one. Baby, it's cold outside. All right, I should probably, I really can't stay, baby. It's cold outside. That was that was the one of the fucking yeah. Golden that that was the, that was the that was the Don uh, final song on that album. We should, uh, Ellie, if we still have those uh, files somewhere, maybe we start Christmas now for the Christmas <clears> listener, <throat> and we uh, end with one of those nice songs. You just tag that song in the end, fade yeah. it in over. Christmas is the gun. Uh -huh. Man, I really don't like that Mariah Christmas song. Now that I thought about it, I fucking I hate that she song. She should just be viciously executed. It does seem uh, like a wide-held sentiment that nobody likes it, but they still play it all the time. Just for the... You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we just don't move. I think it extends though. beyond just like, uh, you know, terminally online stupid people, I guess. I'm not even oh. fucking terminally online. And, like, actually, well, no, I'm not. I'm going to well, put a flag. I mean, we're we not... Are. We're, I think we're not like when people use that phrase, but we are in that we probably don't have the perspective of like, uh, you know, a 45 year old know, like, suburban like, mom, like, well, like our financial <laughs> advisor, you know, he's, yeah, he's like, he's, 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 he's our age, but lives in a completely parallel. Oh, timeline, is that Mariah you know? Carey? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All Literally. I want for Christmas <laughs> is starts, you. Starts snapping his fingers. Did you, you know? see the stock market went up 2%? Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening, sorry, Jack. He's, he's he's trying to he's trying to think about like how to say the uh, the Spanish parts because he can't really speak it. Why can't it, 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 it be goddamn fucking English? <laughs> yeah, I don't Fuck. know what's happening to this fucking country. I don't know what it is. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. All right, are we done. I, I really can't stay. I have to go. Mama's cold up first. No, I, I really gotta go. I gotta Mama's go. cold up first. Okay, no, I... Why is the door... Come, uh, or swallow the key! <laughs> hey, no! Come on! Get my keys go back! Go oh, go my oh my god! Oh my god! No! Ow! You're gonna rape you! No! You're gonna rape you! No! 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 I'm in the bathroom. I locked the door. I'm in the bathroom. 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 I'm in